All right, so in how to reflect a figure over a line. So here we have the letter F and kind of have a, a diagonal looking line of reflection right here. And what we're going to be doing is using a ruler and a pencil and are going to reflect this line over using uh, the property that the line of reflection is the perpendicular bisector of every segment joining the points of the figure with the points of the image. Okay, So we're actually using a ruler this time, not just a straight edge, because we're going to be measuring some distances. Now, you can see on the ruler, um, at every measurement, you have uh, a mark here. And that mark is actually perpendicular to the edge of the ruler. Okay. So what we're going to do is use the ruler to create some perpendicular lines here. So what you want to do is just line up one of those hash marks with the line of reflection. And now I know that my ruler is perpendicular to the line of reflection. Okay, So that is part one. The next part is going to be measuring the distance from the line of reflection to the point that we're trying to reflect. In my example, it looks like it's about three centimeters. And I always use centimeters because it, it's a lot easier uh, to get it to the tenth, nearest tenth of a centimeter. And what I want to do now is go perpendicular three centimeters out the other direction. This is where my point is going to be. So again, we have a perpendicular line. And we actually have a perpendicular bisector right here. So if I repeat this process for all the points, I will have reflected my figure F. So let's just move on to the next point up here in the corner. So align your ruler perpendicular. Measure the distance. So now I'm about 4.3 centimeters. So I go 4.3 centimeters there, and then 4.3 centimeters on the other side. And I make my point. And again, I have a perpendicular bisector. Okay, the line of reflection is a perpendicular bisector, so I know this other point has to be right there. I can go down and get the bottom of our F. Align your ruler perpendicular. Measure the distance. This is about 2.7, 2.7 centimeters. Okay. And so I also have. The line of reflection is a perpendicular bisector of this segment. And you can see the shape of our reflected F is starting to appear there. And we actually have two more points that we need to do. So we'll do this one here. Line up your ruler perpendicular, measure the distance. This is about 3.7. <coughs> Notice these three points here should be collinear because they were collinear over here. 
Because ultimately, our figure needs to be congruent to the image. Okay. And again, we have perpendicular bisector. And then one last point here. Line it up perpendicular. Take the measurement. Make the congruent part on the other side. So another perpendicular line there. And then finally, it's just to connect all of our points. Okay. And there you'll see the F is reflected. Now, it's kind of tricky maybe looking at something being reflected over a line that's not vertical or horizontal. So fortunately, your paper is not glued to the table. And you can turn it vertically. And it's probably a lot easier to see the symmetry here and that this line actually is the line of reflection and that the F was reflected over to this side.